time we saw 39-year-old Christopher Van Dan was August 8th in front of a Baltimore County courthouse. The former Gilman teacher saying he was wrongly accused and proclaiming his innocence to state charges of rape and child sexual abuse. This has been tremendously difficult, but perhaps not necessarily for the reasons that you might think. Um, one, I know that I'm innocent, and so on that end, um, with the support of my family and friends and community, uh, I, I felt good within my own space. But 10 days later, an appearance in U.S. District Court following a federal grand jury indictment on five counts of child sexual exploitation and one count of possession of child pornography. FBI agents arrested him at his home around 5 Friday morning. The indictment alleges from September 16, 2017 through February 2019, Van Dan coerced a minor victim to engage in sexually explicit conduct so that a visual image could be produced and transmitted. He is also charged with possession of child pornography. Back in February, Baltimore County Police arrested Van Dan on similar charges involving the same victim. A judge then put him on home electronic monitoring. In federal court, his attorney argued the government was abusing its power. We've been working with the government for six months. He tells 11 News Van Dan could have self-surrendered. Knowing that he has no criminal history and he's not a flight risk, why would you then come to his house with a SWAT team, trained um, uh, lasers on him, red dots on him, and his father, who's 78 years old and has a heart condition. Why would you do that when all you had to do was pick up the phone and call his lawyer? Van Dan's father had no comment as he left the court. Attorney Steven Silverman represents the alleged victim. My personal view is he is a monster. He has breached the trust of the entire community. According to prosecutors, investigators are checking at least 10 electronic devices. Van Dan will remain in custody over the weekend. His attorney is fighting for his release. What I expect to happen on Monday is to be able to share with the court yet again all of the things Mr. Van Dan has done to fight these charges and to clear his name. Now, his attorney was very concerned about his health, telling the judge after getting arrested before, Van Dan was placed on suicide watch. He does have mental health issues, and he suffered a heart attack. Again, his attorney is trying to get him released on Monday. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.